Yo, what's up guys, Chidi here, and today I'm bringing you a little achievement walkthrough slash tip video for Aircraft Evolution. So this game is published by Sometimes You and developed by Saturn Entertainment, and the game is going to be releasing on July 22nd, 2020 on PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox One for a price of $9.99, and it currently has a pre-order sale on Xbox for $2 off. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll have a link in the description to the Microsoft Store. So this game is a pretty easy completion, but can be a little grindy. You can get all the achievements in this game in around 3 to 4-ish hours, and the game has no missable achievements, and you can change the difficulty to easy. I've already completed the game, but I'm going to show you guys the achievement list. But before that, we can go to uh, options, and from there, you can change the difficulty to easy. So mine's already set to easy since I've already played, but I'm pretty sure when you start the game for the first time, your difficulty is set to normal. So go ahead and check your options and change the difficulty to easy. All right, and as for the achievements, they're all pretty simple, just a little grindy. So here we have the start the level anew five times. Basically, that just means to replay a level five times. It's very easy. You can do it on the uh, first level since that one's pretty short. Uh, complete the whole game. That's just for beating the game. Go through the fourth era. So there's uh, eras in this game. Basically, they're just like chapters. There's 40 missions in total. And there's uh, an era is 10 missions. So that's uh, for completing 40 levels, I guess, basically. Sorry. And then uh, destroy 500 tanks. Destroy 200 cannons. Buy the best aircraft. So to get the uh, best aircraft in the game, it costs 5,000 currency. And you have to be level 30. So there's a uh, leveling system in this game. I hit level 30 around level... 30 to level 33 so uh, that achievement's not too hard and then uh, go through the third era destroy 200 aircrafts accumulate 5,000 finances again this isn't hard you get uh, finances for completing levels or killing enemies I got this achievement around the uh, halfway point through the game uh, halfway through the game past the second era destroy 200 buildings upgrade the aircraft to maximum so you can upgrade your aircrafts I'd recommend uh just buying the uh, level 12 aircraft and upgrading that one all the way since uh, that one's pretty cheap to upgrade all the way. And then from there, buy a new aircraft, pass the first era, drop the super heavy bomb. So there's different bombs in this game. This one is for the uh, dropping the super heavy bomb. You can actually get the super heavy bomb by buying it once you reach level 20. Or if you want to uh, be cheap like me, you can just get it as a drop in the bonus level on like level 9 instead of spending the uh, 300 or waiting until level 20 to buy it. Uh, complete the fourth mission. Bomber, blow up the building. That's just for blowing up a certain building in a level. Again, that one's, I'm pretty sure that's not even missable. It's just, it's like a objective in one of the levels for blowing up a building and you get that achievement. And then uh, complete the first mission. So again, the achievement list is very easy, just a little grindy. And then before we get to the uh, gameplay, I'm quickly going to go over a few more things. So uh, again, there's uh, 40 missions in total. So the missions consist of different objectives. There's uh, one for killing all of the enemies or one for destroying all buildings or killing a certain amount of enemies in a certain time limit or one for uh, speeding through the level in a certain time. And then uh, there's the bonus mission. So level 9 is a bonus mission, level 24 is a bonus mission, and level 37 is a bonus mission. So the uh, bonus missions give you extra repairs and extra gas canisters, and they also give you different types of bombs. So real quick, I'll go to the uh, store. So from the store, you can buy uh, different aircrafts or uh, bombs. So there's the uh, cluster bomb, the napalm, the heavy bomb, and the super heavy bomb, the repairs, and the fuel. So I'll quickly talk about the uh, cluster bomb. In my opinion, the cluster bomb is the only one is the only bomb worth buying since it's very cheap and pretty effective. And then the other ones get a little pricey, and you'll uh, eat up all your money if you buy them. And again, I wouldn't bother buying the super heavy bomb that you unlock at level 20 because it's way overpriced. It is very good, but in my opinion, it's overpriced. If you're looking for the achievement for using a super heavy bomb, you can actually get them in the uh, bonus level. So on bonus level 9, you can find it as a drop, and that's how you can get the achievement. And then for the repairs, I would definitely recommend buying some repairs because you can uh, heal your aircraft from like 0% health to 100. So basically, if you have a bunch of these, it's impossible to die. So again, always make sure you have some extra repairs. And then the fuel. The fuel is uh, you get a boost and... You use it with like the 
right bumper. I don't remember how you use it, but basically the fuel just re refuels your uh, boost. So that's not really worth it. As you can see at the top, I have 38 of them since I wasn't really using those. But uh, for the aircrafts, so for me personally, this is what I did. I didn't buy any aircraft until I hit level 12 and I bought the uh, level 12 aircraft there and then I fully upgraded that one. You can either upgrade the first one that you get or you can grind out and, and maybe uh, buy the level 15 or whatever. But personally, I just recommend uh, grinding a couple of the uh, first levels until you rank up and then you can get one of the upgraded aircrafts and upgrade those. And then eventually, once you hit level 30, you can buy the final one and you'll get an achievement for that. And then from there, you can go ahead and upgrade it and the entire game will be a complete breeze. Once I got the uh, level 30 aircraft, I actually ended up dying more by killing myself by dive bombing on accident than I did dying to the actual enemies. So again, guys, I'm not going to uh, walk you through all the levels in the game since it's just so easy that honestly, it would just it'd be like a three hour video. And I don't really see the point of it since the game's so easy and it takes forever for that video to render and upload. So I'll show you some uh, gameplay. All right, so for the gameplay, I'm just on level one since this acts as the uh, tutorial level. So it's going to teach you how to play. So you hold A for the uh, boost. I didn't really use the boost that much, but you can if you want. Uh, you press X or RT to drop a bomb. And uh, the first bomb you get is actually actually infinite so you can literally just hold down the bomb button and just drop bombs forever and then uh press y to shoot and the also the uh y ability the shoot ability is infinite as well and then of course you use the oh and just like that i, I accidentally finished the mission so uh again you obviously fly around using the left stick so i'll go ahead and start the second mission so again that was the first mission it was so easy so uh use the right stick to select the bomb so again there's different bombs there's the first one there's the carpet bomb or cluster bomb rather sorry and then the napalm again I'm just gonna be using the clusters here since that's the uh, the one I recommend using since they're pretty cheap and very effective and then you can repair your uh, aircraft your health by pressing LB and you can refuel by pressing RB and again you only need to refuel if you use the a button to uh, boost and you also may change your difficulty again I already talked about that in the beginning of the video so again this game's very easy. You just fly around and bomb everyone, and you can keep replaying levels if you want to uh, power level yourself and maybe save up for the uh, level 15 aircraft and then upgrade that one all the way until you hit level 30 or whatever you want to do. So again, I'm not going to walk you through the entire game because it's very easy, guys. So again, the missions have different objectives. So destroy all enemies, destroy all buildings, or maybe kill a certain amount of enemies in a time frame. So again, it's very easy. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like on the video if it was helpful. And if you happen to be struggling and you need any help, you can uh, feel free to comment down below and I'll be sure to reply. But uh, that's going to do it for the video guys. So shout out to sometimes you for the review code and I'll see you guys next time.